This is all about momentum. The greater that force, the bigger the impact. Momentum is a product of mass and speed, but my experiment is also affected by another factor, aerodynamics, how well the food flies through the air. I was relying on Dom to give enough momentum for a big impact, but his throwing was, well, rubbish. So to be more scientific, I set the Factor Mania engineers to work, building me something with consistent starting speed, consistent accuracy, and a lot of kick. Right, check this bad boy out. Whoa! Hello. <laughs> this is my cannon. So this is full of nitrogen at 800 psi, loads and loads of pressure. Ooh, that's even stronger than my arm. That is so much Imagine. stronger. What's yeah. good about this is it's going to be a standardised launch velocity as well. So right. it's going to be exactly the same every single time. The consistent starting speed delivered by my salad cannon gives all the ingredients a fair chance of being crowned deadliest. Uh, what should we Cheers. load in first then? Got to be the egg. The egg. Yeah. Um, all three eggs? Why not? Now it's all down to mass and aerodynamic shape. The winner is the one that makes the biggest dent in the plywood target. Right, three eggs loaded. Tuck in behind me. Here we go. Eggs Benedict in three, two, one. Whoa! The egg has a good aerodynamic shape and plenty of mass. Fired at an aggressive 400 kilometers per hour by my salad cannon, there was a big impact. But that destroyed the egg, not the target. So the eggs damaged the actual target, but yeah. didn't make it through the wood. So what are we going for next? Uh, um, celery? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> The celery just had poor aerodynamics and so a slower speed. It didn't have enough mass either. Once again, the food has come off worse than the target. It's good, you made celery cling to a wall. <laughs> I great, seen it. But next, I throw a curveball. Okay. So here it is. Here's my uh, little bonus bit of fruit. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two... Hang on a sec. That is just a normal tomato. Just a normal squashy tomato. OK, you may carry on. OK, three. Two, one. <laughs> oh, yes! Check that out. Wow. You put a hole in it. Weren't expecting that, were you? No. No. No? Not at all. You said, oh, <laughs> tomato all soft and squishy. He's not going to make a hole like that. That's, that's amazing. You know why? You put cement in your tomato. <laughs> no. Didn't you? No, tomato's packed full of water, and a litre of water weighs a kilogram. So you had loads of mass in that tomato. The tomato has an aerodynamic shape and it's 95% water, so has considerable mass. Water is amazingly dense. Even if you squeeze it at 150 times atmospheric pressure, it compresses by less than 1%. That is why the fruit destroyed the target, not the other way round. Yes, knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put it in a fruit salad. But science is knowing it's the food that makes the best bullet. So that is the winner of the Super Size Salad Shootout. <laughs>